All right, welcome to Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. This is Eric. Hello. Um, Eric is our head of video and production. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah, head of, head of video and production. Okay. I'm usually behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm in front of it and feeling all sorts of feels about it. But yeah. here we are. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I really it. am. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, so Eric, you also help on our semaglutide team. Yeah, I've been helping out with them for since we've actually started offering semaglutide. So yeah. it's been a little over a year now. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So today we kind of just want to talk about like our experiences with semaglutide yeah. and then just some information about it. For sure. Um, kind of walk through people it. People are, yeah, just kind of have questions. General information, just kind of walk through the process of it all. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So do you want to just talk about kind of like why you started, when yeah. you started? I don't know, just yeah. all the things. So the most interesting thing I to start with is I lost about 80-ish pounds on wow, semaglutide, which is amazing. Yeah, it is nuts. Like, yeah, it's like frankly, it's a life-changing amount of weight. Yeah. Like, frankly, like, yeah. I always say, like, um, people ask me, well, well, first thing, people ask me, what have you been doing, Eric? Why, how have you been losing weight? I say, I say drugs. Drugs. Because it makes me laugh, fine. and that's my personality. <laughs> but um, um, just, like, how much more energy I have. Like, I have four kids, so keeping up with them is a lot easier now. And, like, just life is easier when you don't have an extra 80 pounds to live around. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, I started because I, because I wanted to prove to myself that I was worth trying to do it. You know, like right. I've, I've, I love myself. I've loved myself at my heaviest. I've loved myself at my skinniest, but, um, I just, it just came to a point where it's like, you know, it's worth trying something different because right mm-hmm. now it, it wasn't, wasn't working it's the way working. I was, yeah. So um, did, um, it has its own struggles. You know, I did it for a little over like 10 ish months, um, total and lost that much in that period of time, which is nuts. Yeah. Um, and did, I mean, of course, experienced some side effects like nausea, yeah. other gastronomical issues, which are just associated. I think the weirdest thing though, is, um, this is, they call them the Ozempic burps, oh, <laughs> which yeah. burps that smell like sulfur, which is kind of gross, but I never had that, you're lucky. but like, yeah. I have heard that people were like, it is gross. My wife would say, it's like, it happened in the middle of the night. I'm like, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you burped and it made the room smell like boiled eggs. That's terrible. Um, but yeah, so, um, then, but the way I look at it, like, yeah, there was like a struggle. It was difficult, uh-huh. but like, I also could have been struggling in the gym and yeah. having that. So it's just like, you know, you trade one for the other. And now I am yeah. in the gym, but I can like jog and I can work yeah. out better and I can touch my toes without feeling like I'm going to explode, you know, yeah. like, so, um, yeah, it's, it's been an incredible experience and mm-hmm. worth every ounce of struggle that went into it. So yeah. yeah, it's been cool. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 So I kind of just, me and my husband did it together. Oh really? Yeah. So it was something that he was kind of thinking about. And I mean, in the last few years, I've always been thinking about like, okay, like how, like how much, do I care? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, 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 no. I get it. Like, like I, I want to lose weight, but like, do I want to like diet? No, no. I don't want to diet. No, like, I, I just it. don't really believe in like the diet industry. And like, I don't want to say like certain foods are bad or yeah. you're not allowed to have, you know, <laughs> like the immorality of food. Yeah. Like what? Like, oh <laughs> yeah, my gosh. Yeah. Like you don't want to suffer for aesthetic sakes, exactly. you know? Yeah, I get that. I totally. So, do. and then like we started offering some glutide and I mm-hmm. was like reading a lot about it because I'm like making the website yeah right right? (laughs) gotta know your stuff (laughs) yeah so just like reading so much about it um patient testimonials Mm -hmm. um and then here when we started offering it a lot of people were taking even like on our team staff yeah so i was just like like i should just try it like i think i just had this like moral like oh i should love my body and i've (laughs) talked about this before i should love my body but also like i do want to change it because i'm just uncomfortable yeah when you um, put on clothes yeah. and you're like, I hate how I look, yeah. like that's that's hard. Yeah, I get that. Um, so yeah, we started it together. Um, I think it's funny. Like I always give him his injection and my I do my own <laughs> injection too. He's never done an injection. Never. And like you're such a and he'll like stand there and he's like, <sighs> and I'm like, is it over? <laughs> is it over? <laughs> I know. So I'll do his and then I'll do mine. Oh, that's cute. Um, <laughs> And yeah, we just do it in the evenings, mm-hmm. um, yeah. usually on the weekend, yeah. and and we kind of just Im- immediately, I guess, started to see yeah yes. Yeah, so first started to see the appetite. appetite. Oh my gosh, seriously. And for him, it was Me started too. way. So he 
the first time he took it, the first few weeks, he kind of felt the nausea the mm-hmm. first day. Mm-hmm. And then he was just like, I'm just not hungry. And yeah. I was like, how? Like, I'm on it too. So and crazy. I just like, I felt normal. But after like week three for me is when it kind of, it and I was in. like, oh, I, I see. I, I feel it. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It, I think that's a testament too about how unique each experience is right. for each person. You mm-hmm. know, some people like we, um, like last episode, Brie talked about um, when she was on some glue, she's like, I didn't get sick once. Yeah. It's like, you lucky dog. Yeah. You. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. Some people get decently sick. And, yeah. But um, one cool thing that we do here at Bell is we, if you do experience a lot of nausea, we can, pres- um, the, the medical team, the providers can prescribe um, Zofran, which is yes. actually yeah. what um, doctors prescribe to women in the first trimester of pregnancy with really? morning sickness. So yeah. it can, it makes, and having had that prescription, it makes a difference. Yeah. It's, it's a big deal. So yeah, um, it, we've got solutions for even those right. those issues that people arise and just how different it is for each person. Yeah, and like both from our experience mm-hmm. and from kind of just like knowledge about the drug, mm-hmm. we have some other like tips that oh, can for help sure. you oh, yeah. um, to avoid yeah. like those. And yeah, so some people, they can't avoid it completely, yeah. but maybe it can be less. It can be helped, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. it's all about like finding what works for you and even finding the dose that works for mm-hmm. you because it can be as personal as that. Like, oh, like... Um, so maybe we should just talk about like how the process works and then yeah. kind of what we do because, okay. um, so like, it, like, um, Aaron, I mentioned, I have been helping out with, um, some glutide since we started offering it. Like I, you might have, if you were listening to this and you've had a consultation at Bell, you might've talked to me yeah. because I do, I help with consultations, um, a couple times a week just because it's very popular and yeah. it can get really over, like some people times we, we don't want people to have to wait to get their consultation. Right. So I help out on those crazy times. Um, so the way it works is you go on our website, you sign up for a free consultation, and then you schedule a time that works for you. You either talk to me or someone else that's helping out on the team. And um, we have like this whole kind of outline of walking you through the entire process. And maybe I can even just go into how that works, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So first, like you said, you you can schedule your time and then somebody just calls you Someone will call you. Phone. Yeah. Someone will give you a call. Yeah. yeah. And it might be me. So <laughs> um, um, and then, so then we just walk through medication, kind of give you the history of semaglutide, how actually... It was initially developed to be a medication for type 2 diabetes, Mm -hmm. but as they tested it, these type 2 diabetics were getting all these benefits for their diabetes, but they also started losing weight. And so they're like, there's some eyebrows raised. They're like, that's interesting. So they tested it. What a nice side I know. Like, whoa, that's really cool. (laughs) Maybe we should test this with people that aren't diabetic to see if it's not a fluke. And they did. They tested it with non-diabetic people also. And guess what? They lost weight too. And so that's when like dollar signs were popping up behind people's eyes, right? Like... (laughs) So since then, um, people have been taking it, and it, that, that was seven years ago when they started it. And mm-hmm. so since now, um, it's all over the place. Like right. people, like uncles, brothers, cousins, everybody's like taking it, right? Yeah, you know, whether or not they're like, honest about it. Or yeah, not. you're like either you're on it or somebody yeah. you know is on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, and usually that's a question I ask. It's like, hey, so on, on these consultations, like, do you know anybody, or like, do you have any experience with it? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay, then who do you know that's on it? And mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, they're like, oh, my, yeah. my coworker, my brother, my whoever, yeah. right? Like, because it's all over the place. So. Um, then, um, so it's an injection. You take it just once a week and it works by mimicking the GLP one hormone. It's kind of funny. Like I, I have this script in my mind that I've memorized and I'm like going through it without going through it. Right. But so it mimics the GLP one hormone, Mm -hmm. which does a couple different things. That's the one that communicates with our brain to, after we eat to tell us that we're full. Mm -hmm. So that's how it suppresses appetite because it sends more of those I'm full signals to the brain. So it like helps you eat less without the suffering, which is great, you know, like caloric, Intake reduction is an important part of, of weight loss, right? Yeah. And and especially if you're in a caloric, not, um, what's the opposite of? Deficit? Uh, what's up? Yeah. And not a, a caloric, not deficit. Surplus. <laughs> a caloric surplus. That's what <laughs> yeah. it is. We are using big words here. Um, so yeah. So helping you get in a caloric deficit, which is helpful for weight loss. Right. But then it Without also- feeling like you're starving. Like you're going to die because yeah. you're like, oh, I'm just so hungry, right? Yeah. Um, but then it also like cuts down like the food noise for like snacking and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I don't know about you. I'm a, a bored snacker. Um, so everything snacker. Yeah, seriously. I'm right? sad. I need a cookie. <laughs> I'm happy. I would also I was good like today. a cookie. I need a treat. <laughs> I, I deserve a treat today. I'm so good. Um, I know it's bad. Which, you know, at the same time, you know, like I we talked about like there's food isn't moral one way or the other, right. you know, but like. And it's can. okay to have some Correct. sweets. It is. But, but it, it is nice to not have that like constant like, okay, I just had breakfast. Yeah. I would like something sweet. <laughs> I just had lunch. Now I want something sweet. Oh, so that goes into the second part of what um, GLP-1 helps you do. It um, it 
helps with that food noise, helps with the appetite suppression, but then it also helps reduce insulin resistance. Right. Which insulin resistance is like one of the biggest symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Uh-huh. And so that's why it helps. So it makes for you diabetes. more sensitive to insulin. It makes you more sensitive to insulin, which in effect reduces insulin resistance, mm-hmm. which in effect does all sorts of crazy things. But one of the benefits is it helps you prioritize fat burning as opposed to fat storage. Mm-hmm. Because when you have insulin resistance, your body's storing Just fat. Just takes all the fat in. And it takes yeah. all the calories and carbs and everything you're, you're eating and it stores it into fat, which is a problem. Yeah. Right? So it helps reverse that. Not necessarily reverse it, but it makes you more sensitive to insulin. So that way you can reduce insulin resistance, which in effect helps you burn fat. Right. So it does a lot of cool things. It also helps slow down gastric emptying, which I kind of call it, this is kind of a funny thing, but if you're familiar with like the gastric sleeve surgeries where they oh, literally yeah. they literally reduce the, um, the capacity of your stomach, mm-hmm. um, I call that like, that's a physical hardware change, you know, like, um, like swapping out an engine in a car, but semaglutide helps slow, slow down the emptying of your, of your stomach. So it's like a software change. Nothing physically changes, but it slows down, which has a similar effect as what a gastric sleeve does. Yeah. So it's like, it's really cool. Like it's less invasive, you know, like, and you know, there's some symptoms of, of gastric, uh, slowing down of gastric emptying. That's where some of the nausea comes into play, Mm -hmm. which is why one of the tips we recommend is to avoid high fat intake while you're taking some glutide because. Yeah. So some people have said like, if they eat a ton on the yes. day that they like take their injection yeah. and the day after, it's so much worse. Yes. So, and it, it is hard because if I take my injection on a Saturday, mm-hmm. then by Friday, I'm kind of not feeling yeah. it as much. You're like, oh, I'm ready for my next yeah, injection. Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah like, totally. like I could eat more. Correct. And so that's kind of when you have to like plan. Yes, think ahead. Yeah. yeah totally. So like, okay, I'm not going to eat as much so that when I do take my injection. You don't get overloaded and yeah. all of a sudden, because that's another like side of like people... The nausea doesn't get so bad for people generally. Like it's described as a mild nausea. But if you overeat, guess what? You're probably going to puke because right. of – just because your body doesn't have the capacity. Yeah. It, it, it can it's mess with you. too much food. Yeah. And so – and especially like high fat, that can trigger nausea because fat takes a long time to digest anyways. And so then right. you slow it down. And it's not like don't put mayo on your sandwich. It's like yeah. don't go to the county fair and eat a stick of fried butter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. So just watch out for excessive amounts of fat, like right. excessive amounts. Like you can eat your avocado. You can yeah. have some mayo on your sandwich, but just watch out for the excessive stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Another thing like we talked about, we take it in the evening yes. so that if you do get nauseous, you kind of just like sleep, sleep it off. Through yeah. it. And it depends on the person. Like I took mine in the morning because um, I – I intermittently experienced nausea while I was okay. taking it. So I just, I took it on um, Tuesday mornings uh-huh. because then Wednesdays, if I was going to be nauseous, like I, one day, Wednesdays were my least like crazy day. Right. And so, because I have kids, I'm like running around like a crazy person on Saturdays. So That's so true. <laughs> Sports yeah. games, whatever it is, you know, like, so, um, and then Sunday's a family day. So we're like crazy running around doing that mm-hmm. stuff. So I do it on, on a weekday, but that, but really it's like, okay. Find a day that's going to work for you mm-hmm. and then plan ahead and then just observe. And then you can even make changes in the future. Yeah, I feel like that's all. It it's is. like trial and error exactly. kind of. Yeah. And There's that's like same curve. with dosage. So yep. I think everybody starts out with five units, right? It's, or is I, it there's, different? There's, it depends on the person. Really, um, it's we, we whenever like talking about dosing, we always say um, work with the provider okay. because they're the ones that can give you the best information. Right. Um, but um, we do what's called a titration program, which is just a fancy way of saying we start you at a smaller dose. If you've never taken it before, mm-hmm. we start you at a smaller dose and work you up to mm-hmm. a full dose, beca- all in the in the spirit of not shocking your system too much with potential side right. effects. Because if you were to jump into a full dose, I mean, that's jumping into the the, the deep end of the pool. Yeah. You know, you don't. Well, no, most people aren't even on like a full dose. Correct. Yeah. Cause, so so they, they do just what like a maintenance dose or something. Right. Which... So you kind of just like you start out at whatever, you know, the low doses. Mm-hmm. And then every week or two you get higher until you kind of find like your. The tipping point, which yeah. still gives you the benefits, but then it isn't necessarily giving you too many of the side effects. Yeah. yeah. So I think ours, like mine and my husband was like a half dose. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's not uncommon. That's really common, in fact. Yeah. Um. So logistically again it's a tiny needle it's like i don't know if you've ever seen someone with an insulin injection that's like the most comparable Mm -hmm. um type like for talking about needles it's a what's called a subcutaneous fat injection so it's not like a vaccine where you got to go into the muscles yeah so it's just a little tiny needle like if i were to hold it up right here in front of the camera you probably wouldn't even really be able to see it. it's tiny yeah so the most common location that people give themselves the injection is the abdomen um but you can also use like the back of the arm you can use 
even like the squishy parts of your thighs Thigh. or even the butt. Like mm-hmm. that's if you got the best squish there, use it. Just <laughs> because you, yeah, look at you're looking for a little bit of squish. That's use all it is. It. And when because we're talking about subcutaneous fat, you're just looking for fat underneath the skin right. and pinch. Um, I think abdomen is the most common area because yeah. it's most convenient physically. Mm-hmm. There's no difference in like the effectiveness of semaglutide based on location of where you do it. So it's like, well, I want to lose belly fat, so I'll do it in my belly. It doesn't yeah, work that no. way. It doesn't work that <laughs> way. I wish, I wish it was that targeted, but no, it's not. Um, but yeah, so it's just you just do, do it once a week, tiny little needle, and then um, yeah, we use what's called compounded semaglutide, mm-hmm. which um, just means that that's a pharmaceutical way of saying have it has some B12 mixed in. The compounding pharmacies that we work with are very credible. Like they're right. amazing. We did our research. If we're going to be offering something, we wanted to make sure it was safe. Right. Because like you hear about these like fly by night situations. Like oh my my I know somebody I can get it for a hundred bucks a month. Yeah. Or like seven, fifty bucks a month. It's like oh my gosh. Like that's great. But oh I hope it's what safe. are you injecting? I hope it's safe. <laughs> like I don't know. So like so and I think a lot of people get nervous about like seeing stuff like oh it's all online. Yeah. So I think that's oh, one okay, cool yeah. thing mm-hmm. that yes. we. We have physical locations. Yes, we do. So if you do, like, if you're like, oh, that seems sketchy, like, come in. Come talk, talk to, to us. us. Talk to a person that yeah. will, can even, and that's the thing, too, is, like, if you're nervous about giving your shot, yourself a shot, which, guess what? They're, like, phobia of needles is a legitimate thing. Yeah. Like, and I get it. Like, well, right? even, like, I'm scared of, like, messing up. I'm scared yeah. of doing it wrong. Yeah. I, you know? Or I've never done this before. Like, you can come in to one of our clinics, and the medical assistants would be happy to, mm-hmm. to one, show you how to do it and do it for you. Like, yeah. they're more than happy. So just call ahead. Like, say, hey, I, I want to take my insulin – or my – not insulin, excuse me. I want to take my semaglutide injection. Um, one would be a good time. Um, schedule time with the, the clinics, and they will – they'll walk you through it. Yeah. We even have online videos if you're more of a, like, watch it and then I do it yourself. Both. I, yeah. like, watched somebody do it, and then I watched a video, yeah. and then I was like, okay, okay. I can do it. And yeah. it was easy. It yeah. was fine. So once you do it the first couple times, you know, and – because, you know, like, you got to think, like – Going, taking the time every week to go into the clinic, that could be tricky, you know? Yeah. Like, everybody's got a busy life, you know? Like, it's, it's hard. So we give you the opportunity. You can do it yourself. More than welcome to do that. And, in fact, we encourage that because it saves you the time. It, it's awesome. But you can also come in. Mm-hmm. And that's awesome because Yeah, and I think most people, after they see it once, they're like, oh, oh like, I could do I this. Could do or yeah. if somebody's like, oh, I used to give my dog shots. Like, yeah, it's not that <laughs> different. Like, it's <laughs> really, thing. frankly, you grab it and you, you pinch it and you give yourself the shot. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's in a, that's in a nutshell how it works. So after you talk to have your first consult, then you'll um, be sent an email with um, a link to medical assessment form that you need to fill out. Right. Because you want to make sure that the medication is safe, like mm-hmm. free to take. So the medical assessment just goes over things like um, your medical history and any medications that you're taking. Right. Um, and I haven't really seen people get rejected for based on those kind of things like yeah like, they're like very serious very, things that that yeah. prevent you from being able to take it i know that like things like issues with the thyroid uh-huh. like like cancers of the thyroid that'd be like okay we just don't want to mess with that i know pancreatitis is something they look for but like if you've got high blood pressure if you've got diabetes like you know there's not a lot that you know even right even taking horm- like hormone replacements and things like that like it's a very non-reactive medication and in fact if you're like curious you can just go to like um what is it? Not IMDb. That's for movies. You can go to um, not what? Kelly Blue Book. That's for cars. Um, that's what's coming to mind. Uh, what is it? WebMD. It? WebMD. So we just want to make sure it's safe, right? And so right. if you're curious before you call in, you can go look for like yourself and see like mm-hmm. these are the drugs I'm on. Are they against or do they cause any issues with semaglutide? Right. And like most on don't. Yeah. Like it's... your basic, your antidepressants, your <laughs> yeah. birth control. Like yeah. you should be fine. Very so, non-reactive. But yeah. Very but safe. But after the medical assessment, they'll go over exactly. all that just to make sure. So you fill all that out. And then next step is someone from the medical team will contact you and then they'll go over that medical assessment with you and they'll go over all those medications, medical history and go over, make sure that you're safe um, and that it wouldn't cause any issues. And then at that point, they help you fill the prescription and then set up a time to talk with the actual provider and it's with the doctor with the doctor yeah, yeah. Um, to and they'll just go over everything and that's just like the final kind of everything. Do you have any other questions? Correct. Yeah. yeah, and they'll that's where you can answer all. Uh, they can you can ask all those and then the medication shipped to your home. I know it's it goes so straight nice. to your door and it doesn't cost any money. It do, it's it's all included. So the standard pricing is three hundred seventy five dollars a month, um, and that's month to month, no contracts, no minimums. That's the full price, including shipping, handling consultations, everything. Meeting that's, with the doctor. Like there's that's no the amount, startup fee. Yeah. That's the amount that comes out of your bank account for mm-hmm. it. Um, but then you can also purchase it for three months at a time mm-hmm. in advance for thousand dollars, which saves you about 10%. Yeah. So that's three thirty three a month. Yeah. Essentially. And you're just, I think you get one vial yeah. every three months. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. I, I like that better because then I'm not like waiting for the package every yeah. month. And 
Then they keep... I mean, it comes in this like temperature controlled. Yeah, they ship it directly to your... So with that pricing, they ship it directly to your home um, and it comes in a cooler, like a little foam cooler yeah. box with ice packs. Um, and it's supposed to be protected from heat and light, actually. So right. inside that package, we'll have the ice packs put in your fridge. But it also comes in a little dark plastic bag. Store it in your fridge. The last one inside came in that. like a bubble. There you go. Like a little bubble mailer. Yeah, that's like what yeah. it was. Yeah, like a dark, like a dark plastic one, yeah, so it's so. protected from the heat and the light. So we also have our spring sale yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's two ninety five a month yeah. right now, mm-hmm. um, and that's if you pay for three months, three in, months advance. in advance. Mm-hmm. So eight eighty five. Correct. That's math. <laughs> that is math. Eight eighty five, and then same thing. You just get the one vial. Mm-hmm. Um, it's for three months. And honestly, like if you're just starting out, three months is the perfect amount of time. Yeah, we really recommend at least trying the medication for three yeah. months, whether you pay month to month for the three seventy five or if you get that discount. Because some people like because of how unique it is to each person, like some people can take up it to takes three months. a little bit. Some yeah. people need three months to get the results, right? Mm-hmm. But also some people see results within the first couple of weeks. Yeah, so, so it just for depends me, on the person. I really just like even from like week one, mm-hmm. it was like two pounds a week. Yeah. That for me, that's mm-hmm. what it was. But yeah, some people just like for a few weeks they're like, I don't really see any difference mm-hmm. and like I'm less hungry, but I haven't lost any weight yeah. yet. But then some clicks and boom, mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, look. And so people ask all the time, they're like, I know it's kinda hard to like say like what can I expect, but what can I expect to lose? Yeah. Right? Like and that's a very like that's a that's a decent question. Like I get it, right? right? And because of how distinct it is for each person and how unique it is and how your body responds and how you all of it, um, it's hard to like say this is the definitive amount, yeah. right? They did a big study where they followed patients over the course of a year who were taking mm-hmm. semaglutide, and that's where they get the big statistics of like fifteen percent of your starting body weight after right. a year. So twenty four to thirty six pounds, which is average. like a really that's big a big range, range right? So. But that's you know you're thinking like you know people that are like only really I weigh one hundred fifty pounds and I'm four foot mm-hmm. eight, you know like okay yeah. they're gonna have different results than someone who's you know five ten three hundred, right? Right. Um, so. We've seen people here at Bell, including myself in that range, um, anywhere with after three months, like 15 to even 40 pounds. Yeah. And that, it's again, just depends on the person. Yeah, we, I think mine was like 20, yeah. 25. That's not in uncommon. 30, in three months. That's not uncommon. And of course, like it, results may vary, right? Yeah. But results may vary because yeah. we do see that people that have more weight to lose generally are much more they responsive. Lose it faster. There's a lot, they're a lot more responsive. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're one of the people that's like, I just want to lose those 20, 30 extra pounds that, like, you know, we're just hanging on, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it might take you a little bit longer, like three to four to even six months. Um, but the average that we see with patients is like six to nine months. Um, I think the cool thing about semaglutide it is, is it is so universal, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, if you want to lose 80 pounds, mm-hmm. you can. If you want to lose 20, you can. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very safe. Yeah. Um, there's not like you it's not like oh i have to take this forever yeah. now and like some people do worry about that like mm-hmm. okay am i gonna have that's to a take common this question forever I yeah um for me like i've been off i think maybe november nice. was when i you know last took mm-hmm. it and i haven't gained i mean my weight fluctuates yeah. like i gain two pounds i lose two pounds i yeah. gain two pounds yeah i haven't gained weight back that's great so i think like we always just say like keep the healthy habits correct and that's the thing is like if habits don't change after you're done like if what doesn't – okay, so if what led to you gaining weight in the first place doesn't change after mm-hmm. you go off semaglutide, guess what? It's going like, to happen. It's, it's going to come back, yeah. right? But that isn't like – this isn't like a crash diet where you lose 20 pounds over and a week. gain it right And back. then immediately get it back, yeah. right? Like you're not losing 20 pounds of water weight. Like you're burning mm-hmm. and removing fat, right? And so um, that's, that's that's really cool. So if you're, co- if you're adding exercise and like proper diet, which we recommend – getting your protein intake, focusing on protein, but then also fruits and veggies, you know, like carbs are great. You know, you need carbs for fuel, but like really focus on protein. And um, those, the portion sizes. Yes. Because you're less hungry, you get full fast. Yes. So if you, if you could continue those habits and like, like the weight will stay off, but it does just depends on you and the the discipline and the choices that you make. Right. Yeah. So I mean like anything. Exactly. So, but yeah, um, it's, it's awesome. Like it, it works, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, and some people like there might be like a very f- small fraction of percentage of people that don't, that doesn't work on, but that's mm-hmm. the same thing with Tylenol, you yeah. know, like some people Tylenol just doesn't work and that's yeah. kind of the way it is. Yeah. And this, like, we've just been seeing a lot of success. It's awesome. Like life changing results. And, and I'm included in that. I think you yeah, are as well. Yeah. You include yourself in that. Like, just like the confidence yeah. that I feel now. And even as I was losing it, like even after just losing 10 pounds, I was like, oh, my gosh, like it's working. Oh, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and like I just I'm able to fit because 
I was the same weight for years and years and years and mm-hmm. years, you know, like 140. Mm-hmm. And then after I got married and just like after COVID mm-hmm. and, you know, moving a bunch of times yeah. and it was like suddenly like, oh, I'm 190 pounds <laughs> and I've never been this weight yeah. before. I have to buy new clothes. Yeah. I don't fit in anything that I used to. Yeah. I think that was hard for me. And I think a lot of people, it's not just like, like, oh, I want to lose weight to be skinny. It's like, I want to be back to where I was. Yeah. I want to feel like me again. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so for me, that's kind of how it was. That's awesome.